everyone. Welcome back to the part two of our um, chicken pot pie recipe. The first part of the recipe, we did the just a crust, and I did that separately because that crust can be used for a savory dish or a sweet dish. And right now, we're going to be making the filling for the chicken pot pie. It is extremely simple. We're using just a few ingredients, and we're going to throw together a really healthy, well-balanced meal in just a matter of minutes that feels really indulgent but it's actually really healthy. So this is gonna be our recipe. This is from our Insiders meal plan. Um, uh, oh How Healthy Insiders is my membership site. So if you want intro, uh, access to that, if you want some information on that, feel free to leave me a comment below, let me know. And then also we're gonna be having, if you're enjoying this cooking demonstration, we're gonna be hosting a week long um, insiders party so oh how healthy insiders again is my membership site it's, it's it's hitting its one year birthday it's one year anniversary so we're going to be celebrating virtually of course right we're all stuck in quarantine um so we're going to be celebrating i want you to celebrate with us we're going to be doing a week long of giveaways of cooking demonstrations of lots of fun things so if you're enjoying this and you think you want to know a little bit more or want more information or want more recipes and cooking demonstrations make sure to join us there um that's going to be at the end of this month and it is april right i'm not sure what day of the week it is <laughs> no it's friday and we're hitting at the end of this month we're going to be having that party so keep a lookout for that all right so getting to this recipe our healthy chicken pot pie recipe we have our dough hopefully already made it was coconut oil um pie crust that is healthy it was simple enough we use all um nutrient dense ingredients and so that is done out of the way now what we are going to do is so hopefully this is not too much in your way here. I have my hot plate here so I can show you real time how I'm making this. I'm gonna turn it on to get it a little bit hot. And what I'm gonna do, I already have chicken made that's in the fridge. Um, I highly recommend always having your proteins kind of prepped a little bit, um, just for occasions where you're hungry, you know, when it's dinner time, you don't wanna sit and wait 25 minutes for chicken to cook, and you don't really wanna use the pre-packaged, pre-made uh, pre, uh, kind of chicken that has artificial flavorings and processed ingredients in it. You just want some chicken made. So make sure you just always have some proteins made, and if not, if you have canned, uh, goods. There's canned chicken, there's canned uh, tunas and canned salmons and packaged foods that are, work just as well, all right? So um, we are going to take a chicken breast, take your chicken breast, and you can cut it in half, you can break it apart. I'm just going to use my paws, make sure they're clean, um, make sure they're clean, especially nowadays, right? And I'm gonna put it in the blender. I know, how weird. Every, <laughs> every time I do this, I even think it's weird sometimes, but it works, okay? It, it just it just makes, um, I do this for a certain recipes, it just makes it seem like more chicken. It actually, like sometimes I do it for chicken salads and different recipes, it just, it just makes more of the food. And it gives it a, definitely a different mouthfeel, different texture. So we're doing this for this recipe because we are looking for shredded chicken. So those were two, you can do, um, if you want a little bit more protein, you can use more. And what I'm actually going to have to do is take a new um, Nutribullet cup because this Nutribullet cup was, um, bear with me. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, what's going on. So this Nutribullet cup um, has little markings on it because my my lovely puppy dog got a hold of, hold of it. So this one is, we cannot use anymore. I'm actually not quite sure why we have it, but <laughs> I got a new cup, we're all ready to go. Let us take um, our lid, we're gonna place it on. You can use a food processor or anything that you want. Blend it up. Just give it like, you know, just press it down a few times. You don't really want to make it into chicken smoothie, all right? One, give it a little shake. Two. Just kind of shaking it and moving it down so that the whole chicken breast will get evenly kind of cut up here. Three. I actually feel like this is bringing back memories of the Nutra Bullet infomercial. Has anyone ever watched that? I think I used to like get obsessed with it, and and I feel like they did something like that. That's probably where I got the idea from. Honestly, it was through Inception from that like ten years ago. So I'm just, I'm just mixing this up a little bit. You can even take out the piece of chicken that's already blended up, but I'm just gonna keep blending it. All right, so 
I'll take out the big chunk as we go. Actually, it all blended up, so we're good. But you can notice the texture it's just blended up nicely into small or few. You can easily use shredded chicken, any kind of chicken. This is just what I'm doing. This is just what is fast and easy for me and what I go to. But feel free to use any kind of technique that you wish to um, shred your chicken. All right, next we are going, we got it a little bit hot here, and we are going to heat up our ingredients. We are going to start with our chicken broth. We need, how much chicken broth? We need a half a cup of chicken broth. You can use bone broth, you can use anything you want. This is a quarter cup measurement. So I'm gonna do two quarter cup equals one half cup. All right, and then to that, we're going to add one cup of plain unsweetened um, almond milk. You do not want vanilla milk because that's, I, I've done that as a mistake before. Make sure you use just plain unsweetened. This is just going to give it a creaminess, um, a plant-based creaminess, right? We're not using any, so this is, again is a quarter cup measurement. So I'm using four quarter cups to equal one half cup. Okay, I'll just give that a little stir. So this, that just gives it a little bit of creaminess. And then to this, we are going to add in one can of, of mixed vegetables. Um, the recommendation is corn, green beans, carrots, and peas. Um, this one actually has some celery, lima beans, potato in it, but it's what, whatever you have right now, I mean, um, I just stocked up on my canned foods while I knew we would be in quarantine, so I just grabbed that and that's fine. But anything you have in hand, so now it's looking like a uh, creamier mixture here. All right, now to that, we want to add some seasoning. We want to spice this up, and we're going to add about a teaspoon of salt. I have pink Himalayan sea salt here. We're going to use a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. And one of those ingredients that really just makes it the whole dish come together is thyme, ground thyme. Okay. So we're going to take about a teaspoon of our ground thyme. All right. And it's one of those ingredients that you're like, hmm, yeah, like it's coming together for me. It actually does it. It's going to make me sneeze and breathe in all that pepper. So give us a mix as it heats up. It's going to blend together well. All right. You see how like simple this really is. And normally I know when I have chicken pot pie, which is definitely it's delicious. Like I love chicken pot pie, but I always feel guilty about it. So, you know, I'm all about getting creative in the kitchen, making really easy, healthy meals that you can feel good about eating. You know, you're getting veggies in here. You're getting healthy fats, you're getting um, whole grains, you can add, um, you know, you're getting your plant protein too from the almond milk, you're getting, you can add bone broth instead of um, chicken broth. Actually in the recipe it calls for bone broth, but I just had chicken broth. So it's, this is a really great meal, you're getting your protein from your chicken. And if you're a vegetarian, you can easily omit the chicken, you can add whatever kind of um, protein that you like or you can not add it all together. If you don't add it all together, I would just recommend a little bit less of the almond milk. I'll probably just use a half a cup of almond milk. All right, so this is heating up. You can see that the spices are all kind of get, getting together here. Now, we are going to add a quarter cup of either um, arrowroot powder or cornstarch um, to thicken, as a thickener, okay? So a quarter cup of either our, arrow, I can't say it right, arrowroot or cornstarch to thicken it up. Okay. And with your fork, kind of just get that all mixed together. And you can start to smell it. It's going to start smelling like chicken pot pie. It smells really, really good. All right, now the last piece of this puzzle is we are just going to add in our shredded chicken here. And this chicken, since it's shredded, it's absorbing the liquid. So that's another reason why we shredded this chicken. It's just absorbing up that liquid. It's making it nice and thick and it's creamy. 
And really guys, I mean, that is about it. Like, this is what I'm all about. These really simple, easy recipes that take no time at all. This seems so decadent and rich and, and, and they're healthy for you. So I'm gonna show you real fast what this looks like. Um, I'm gonna hold up this pan here so I can show you the texture. It's really amazing how kind of indulgent it really does look. Um, and it is something that you feel good about. So let me get a, well, I guess the best way is just like a spoon to show you. I don't want to spill this over. I wish I could show you better. I'll be sure to share photos of this also. Um, now to this, all that you're going to do is you're going to put this on top of your crust. You know, like we just made the crust, so you would divide your crust into two halves. Or again, if you wanted to use your, you can use a little um, pan, like, you know, a little cupcake tin and make individual little mini um, um, chicken pot pies. Or you can use the larger pan here, which I have mine all ready to go. And you're just going to simply pour this batter on, on, top, of the, on top of the crust and then top it off with a little piece of crust. You can put a few holes into it so to let the air bubbles out. And then you're just gonna bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes until the crust is golden brown and cooked. And it's so flaky, it's so delicious, it's so creamy. It feels like a really indulgent meal and it's something that you can feel really good about feeding yourself and your family. So that is that. I'm gonna throw it together in the next video. But if you wanted to, uh, again, join us for our um, insider's anniversary birthday party, make sure to join us at the end of this month. Uh, look at the bottom for some details or future posts about it. And we're going to be sharing really fun, easy recipes like this that are amazingly simple and you can feel good about eating. So be sure to check that out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.